Hey everyone, we are back with another useful video. Today, we are going to discuss about Paint 3D. Let's see how it looks like. First, let's start with by looking at Canvas option. It's located in Menu option. It can also be accessible through Main options. Canvas can be used to set the resolution. We are taking 720p resolution for this tutorial. You can lock aspect ratio. To put it simply, aspect ratio maintain the resolution so picture looks better. You can change the canvas by dragging the corner of background. Let's start checking the main options of this software. First we have brushes option. We have many brushes to look for. Few of them are marker, pen, eraser, and paint bucket. I am going to show you a little bit how they works. You can use Ctrl plus A key combination to select everything, then delete on keyboard to wipe the whole background. The second option we have here is 2D shapes. First we have line here. While keeping the shift key pressed on the keyboard, you can make the line straight or change its degree while moving the mouse. You can also change the thickness of the line and opacity as well. Let us take a quick look at remaining tools. One thing you need to keep in mind that, once you deselected an object, you cannot select it again. So there is one hack to that. You can make the object 3D. Technically it does not make the object 3D but, it will make another layer above the background. Just like this, you can make copies, increase size, and many more. Just play with it, and you will love it. Next up we have 3D shapes. If we talk about only 3D shapes, we have to spend a couple hours on its training. So let us just take a quick look at what they do. Three D shapes actually comes with its own layer. You can say they are above the main background. Click one the three D view. Right click the mouse and move it to view different angles. Next up we have stickers here. Just as name suggest, we can use stickers and paint as well. Let's quickly take a look around. Next we have text. Yes, just like name says, it can be used to write something in paint. We can have different fonts, thickness, and colors of font. Next we have effects. It's more like filters we use in out mobile phones. The last one here is 3D objects. You can use them to create excellent artwork like banners.
So that's pretty much it for the video. We will see you in the next one.